How did the hijackers treat you in the plane? Well, in the beginning uh, there was uh, a lot of uh, shouting. There was, uh, they tried to beat some people, but uh, later on they were, they, you know, they were more friendly. How did the hijackers treat you during the time you were on flight? On the flight, uh, you know, they kept us frightened as best they could so they can control us, I think. Uh, by what means? Well, they kept telling us to lower our heads, don't look out the windows, you know, keep your heads down, so forth. You know, they kept threatening to blow up the plane or whatever else. And once you were grounded, how was the situation then? The situation improved, but, you know, they kept reassuring us that we would be okay, that they did not intend to harm us. I'm the leader of the you know, hijackers. My name is Captain Awul Adami. And my friend is, is Ahmed Hachi Muhammad Allen and Bashim Musa Muhammad. So that I was feeling tired. My friend Bashi, he will give you the statement, full, st full information about our high taxes. So that the international community does not come to help of the struggling Somali masses, even more disparate actions will be forced upon them. Considering, however, that our obje objective is, is not to hurt innocent people, but to help them. The humanitarian torture nature of and the person of Somalia, the government of Somalia are taking a guarantee to save the several students and others. And that succeed is behind of helping of Ethiopians. Ethiopians, they try to save the passengers, our service, and which the students and the diplomatic uh, they are arrested in the central territories of Somalia.